Well, folks, here I am right directly in front of the Eastern Gate here in Jerusalem. As you can see, the Eastern Gate is facing the Mount of Olives over here from Jerusalem on the east. As you can see in front of the Eastern Gate are Muslim cemeteries, Muslim gravestones. And the reason why these gravestones are here is that back in the 1500s when Suleiman the Magnificent built a lot of the walls that surround the city of Jerusalem that you can see today. When you had Jews in the area back then, Suleiman the Magnificent approached these Jews. Now he was the leader of the Ottoman Turks who ruled uh, this country at that time. And he asked the Jews of his day, the rabbis of his day, you know, is it true that when your Jewish Messiah comes, that he is going to enter right through this gate? And they said, based on Ezekiel chapter 43, this is true, Suleiman, our Messiah will one day step foot on the Mount of Olives over here. And then from the Mount of Olives, he will come directly across the Kidron Valley. And he's going to go right through this very gate. When Suleiman heard those words, he commanded his people to seal up the Eastern Gate. As you can see, folks, the gate is sealed today. So not only did Suleiman the Magnificent seal the Eastern Gate, but he also put a Muslim cemetery in front of the gate. As a matter of fact, you can see we're surrounded by Muslim uh, tombs, uh, Islamic gravestones here. And so Suleiman the Magnificent believed that if this Jewish Messiah is a holy man, he will not desecrate himself by coming through a Muslim cemetery. So Suleiman sealed the gate and he put a Muslim cemetery in front of the gate to stop the Messiah from coming. But folks, we know that that is not going to be the case. We know based on Zechariah chapter 14 and verse number four, that at the second coming of Jesus Christ back to this earth, his feet will one day touch the Mount of Olives that you see behind me over here. The Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east. His feet will touch the Mount of Olives. The Mount of Olives will split, will cleave uh, there from the midst, in the midst of it toward the east and toward the west. And there shall be a very great valley. And then the Lord Jesus will come from the Mount of Olives. He'll come through the Kidron Valley that you see here that separates the Mount of Olives from the eastern gate over here. And then based on Ezekiel chapter number 43, Jesus will go right through that very gate. No matter if it's sealed, no matter if there's a Muslim cemetery here, the Lord Jesus is going to go right through that very gate, folks. Nothing is going to stop him. You know, 2,000 years ago, there was a bridge that led from the eastern gate here all the way across from the Kidron Valley. Because behind me over here would have been where the temple was. The Jewish temple uh, would have been right behind me here. They would take the red heifer mentioned in Numbers chapter 19. They would take the red heifer out from the eastern gate and then walk that red heifer all the way across to through the Kidron Valley and up to the Mount of Olives there in Jerusalem. Uh, there there are, are remains of a sacrificial altar there on the Mount of Olives that you can still see today which you know leads many to believe that maybe the crucifixion took place on the Mount of Olives or traditionally Gordon's Calvary or whatever the case may be but that bridge led from here all the way to the Mount of Olives over here the fact of the matter is this folks Zechariah 14 4 tells us that one day the Lord Jesus will go through this very gate behind me the eastern gate you read uh, Ezekiel chapter 43 verses 1 through 3 the Messiah will go right through the eastern gate and then, of course, he's going to establish a kingdom right here in the city of Jerusalem for 1,000 years. His feet will touch right here upon the Mount of Olives. And this is the reason why, folks, if you look over here, all that white you see over there, those are all Jewish uh, gravestones on the Mount of Olives. I mean, you probably have, I don't know, maybe close to about uh, 40 or 50,000 Jewish gravestones over here on the Mount of Olives. And the reason why Jews are buried on the Mount of Olives is because they are awaiting resurrection. Uh, they are awaiting the fulfillment of Zechariah chapter 14 
at verse number four, and their belief that the Messiah's feet will touch the Mount of Olives. And that will be the case, folks. Jesus' feet will touch the Mount of Olives. But they also believe in what Zechariah uh, chapter, uh, I'm sorry, not Zechariah, Daniel, Daniel chapter 12, and verse number three, where it says that many will sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting uh, contempt. So they believe in Zechariah 14, 4 in uh, Daniel chapter 12 uh, in verse number two and three uh, for the awaiting of resurrection there. So that's why you see all of these uh, tombstones here on the Mount of Olives. And of course, the Mount of Olives is right over here. And of course, right behind me will would be the Eastern Gate. And of course, it's it's been sealed now, folks, for hundreds of years. But one day, the Lord Jesus himself will unseal that gate. He will go through that gate. He will reign from this very city for 1,000 years, folks. I tell you, it doesn't get any better than that. All I can say to that is, Maranatha, even so come, Lord Jesus.